Oh, hello. This looks like I the place. I have been waiting for you. It must have been a difficult journey around the world. I am glad everyone has made it safely. Thank you so very much for gathering the key fragments. Hello? Where are you, Isti? Where's the girl with the cute voice? Here, Isti, Isti, Isti. Come on out, girl. I am the book before you. I am a tome. I contain all information regarding this world. So this book is Isti, huh? All right. What do we do now? Don't look at me. I'm sure if you put the fragments together, something will happen. Like a puzzle? One sec. Let me give it a try. I'll help you too. Well, this one obviously goes here. Oh, that one's on this edge. Um... to look like anyway. Maybe we should just stack them like a totem pole. Oh, oh, it's glowing! Well. Oh, they made progress. Excellent. Thank you. Now I am freed from that seal. Nice to meet you. I'm Isti. Or <laughs> rather, Istoire. She sounds kind of the same, but it's not really what I expected. Sure. I look a little different when I'm a tome. Like a book. Minor changes are normal. Okay, so Isti is just Nep's pet name for you. Anyway, that's one down. What are we doing now? We're gonna go after Overlord Momus and R4. We're not done yet! We didn't find either of them, even though we were zooming all over the world. Got any cryptic metaphors for us, Isti? No, 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 not cryptic. No, I don't want crypticness. Unfortunately, rather fortunately, Overlord Momus does not exist. It was all fabricated by R4. <gasps> oh my. R4 disguised herself to suit various situations. All of these are complete falsities. To top it off, you all actually have fought R4. Nuh-uh. Wait, so Momus is all pretend, and R4 is the one spreading stories about him? Pretty much, Neptune. We heard this story from a heretic first, who heard it from an evangelist. She came to us about it too at one point. That evangelist was like a witch who was all stalking and attacking us. That was also Momus's messenger, huh? Sometimes you knew this. she's an evangelist. Sometimes the Overlord's messenger. She was doing this all to achieve one end. In that case, we've already beat up R4. No. All those fabrications were mirrors of her true self she created. Did you not notice? On each land, you dealt with some sort of scheme she created. She did keep coming back over and over, but they were all different lands. I just thought they kind of looked similar. Really, Neptune? So what was her objective? She's been involved in a whole lot, but I don't have any idea who she is. True. There is still much I have to tell you. How about we find a place we can have a more comfortable discussion? That sounds like an amazing idea, Histra. Right, and that means I'm going to save. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom. Save. And yes, people, I did notice I had a trophy. I didn't just like that let that fly by me. Wait, Neptune. Wait, no, that's what I'm doing. What am I doing? I want to talk to Histra, right? We can, of course, use the radio, but that's going to be pointless. I love Mouth Gaming Boy. Let's just actually look at that real quick, and then we can advance with the story. Everyone meets a boy filled with passion about gaming, but Aya finds him a bit disagreeable. Let me guess, it's not going to be a talky talky. 
Of course it's not a talkie talkie, what was I expecting? Here comes the boy, he's got a nifty game console in his hands. What, is he just carrying a console? Or is he a hand? What's up, kiddo? I need to get this fixed. Oh, okay then. It looks like a pretty old model. I don't think it's even available to purchase. So, I like it. In fact, it was a huge success in foreign lands. The Motorola 68000 68, processor inside it means it's got blast processing and can kick some serious butt. Though the sales pitch the first domestic 16-bit console, game console is a bit inaccurate. Another 16-bit console was released 6 years prior within its home country and 8 years prior outside of its country. Wait, what console are we talking about? Is this going to take a long time? Humph, sorry, but I should get going. Oh, he just leaves them. What's up with that brat? He's got no respect for his elders. Well, he wants to fix his console. I mean, it's an old one. But you were kind of immo immature too. That probably yeah, too true. But yeah, that's that out the way. I don't want to shop just yet. Again? R really? Oh, fine. Yeah, if any others went into the game loving boy once more, what happened between them now? Who knows? Hey, isn't that... Oh, it's 16-bit. We're just gonna call him 16-bit. Who are you calling 16-bit? Just because I appreciate older models doesn't mean I don't have the 32-bit next-gen ones. I don't think 32-bit's the next-gen one. Although, are we that far back into the into the history on this? The next one from that console maker. Oh, you mean the one which sold the least out of all their projects? Are we talking about the Dreamcast? I think we are talking about the Dreamcast, aren't we? Iffy? Say what you want. Personally, I think highly of consoles able to focus on both 2D and 3D rendering functions. Or was this the Saturn? No, the previous one was the Saturn, wasn't it? Probably? Maybe? I don't know. I mean, releasing it the same day as announcing it, but they used polygons and movies eventually. You're lying. Wait, they released it the same day they announced it. Okay, I need to look up my gaming history apparently. The kid's gotta go. I got him good this time. We, we really are F, really? You, really? We're doing this? Don't get into such a serious duel with a little boy. What? what? I F, why? How could you do this? I thought better of you, I F. <sighs> and the finale. Oh, great. Hooray. The boy confronts a game company executive. His harsh words are meant at motivation and love for the company. Let me guess, they're going to be taken a completely different way. Is that...? Humph, you again? How's it hanging, 2D boy? Oh yeah, if your names are not getting better. Shut it, yes, yep. Yeah. Neptune's just basically had enough. It has been happening every single time these two meet. Oh wait, suddenly there's a guy getting into a car over there. Isn't he the director of your favourite game company? Hmm, you're right. This company sucks because he got into a car? Hey, the hell's wrong with you? Why are you aiming like that? He definitely heard you. It's fine, I think games from other companies are so much better. That's, this is not what I thought when uh, get, when we I read the f description of this. Ah, did you see how disappointed the director looked? I want to give him a big hug. It's my way of chewing them on. If they're strong, it motivates them to develop a new console and I'll be happy. And that is not how things work. You like them enough to make yourself into an enemy, huh? Sometimes consumers have to take on the role of the bad guy. No, no. Well, maybe. Maybe in nowadays, yeah, maybe. Wait, no. Maybe? Actually, yes, probably. Maybe. I don't know. But anyway, the kid's gotta go. But, uh 
And apparently it's going to be a big one of these days, according to IF. But that's... wait, no it's not. I was going to ask the same question, Compa. What is this get doing in this game? It makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, Neptune Death told him to shut up. That's something. I think she said shut up, right? I really can't remember. The truth about Neptune and her nemesis. Ooh, this could be interesting. Everyone succeeds in rescuing with histoire. There are many questions, but first they need a nice place to settle down. Yay. Well, where should I start? Not that I know much, right? How about I introduce myself formally and talk a bit about Celestia? Nah, that's a nice starting point, I think. You mean where the goddesses live? Did you come from there too? Why, yes. I have been part of the goddesses' powers for a long time. One goddess in the past gave me a portion of her powers in the event she would try to misuse it. What kind of power did you get? What are you capable of doing? Nothing alone. Same goes for the goddesses. They cannot change the world without my explicit consent. So, you're like the boss. But, I still don't get exactly what you are. I am the world. The world is me. Everything within this tome is within this world. Now there's some crypticness. Change the tome? Then the world will change, and vice versa. I am one with the world. Since the beginning of my existence, all succeeding goddesses ruled and made changes to the world through me. So you got control over everything. How did you get locked away then? A goddess is the only one able to script changes in the tome. I could only try to resist in vain. I am just a part of one almighty goddess. I only contain the power to execute an idea. Neptune just looks bored. So the goddesses are the ones who think up the ideas. Correct. To make a change in the world, we are both necessary. I getcha. It's give and take. She scratches your pages and you scratch her itchy spots. Sure, if that is how you want to put it. That is the gist of our symbiotic existence. Now, to the main topic. The one interfering with all you have been trying to accomplish is none other than the former goddess, R4. She is attempting to destroy this world. She is trying to weaken the goddess's powers by summoning monsters to affect the amount of faith powering Celestia. The discs! Whoa, yeah, I getcha! It's possible for a goddess to burn multiple copies of discs illegally. Burning illegal copies, eh? That aside, I have been following your journey by writing inside the tome. Sunge in Lastation, Ivoire in Leanbox, and Ganache in Louis. It seemed like corporations, basilicoms, and the guild were the cause of all the ordeals, but it was our force influence. Those names don't really help me remember any specifics. That said, our force goal is to rule over a decimated world. I do not know her intentions, but we must do something. We don't have any idea where she is. Do we have to go all over the world again? Jet lag is making me gain weight. That is due to your eating habits. But there is no need. I am the world's everything, and it is my everything. Oh, I remember you saying that line before. So you really are the Isti I've been looking for. Now that I am freed, I can find anything. According to the records within the tome, R4 is hiding in Celestia. With the goddesses vacated, she has taken the opportunity to control the Holy Land. How bold, as expected of her. Then, wait a second. How are we 
going to get her if she's all the way up there? Yeah, where is Celestia anyway? Fairy tales usually say it's beyond the sky. Should we take a shuttle from Planetoon? Unfortunately, there is no shuttle running to Celestia. That would be weird. However, there is still one way. Follow me. Most importantly, we must be certain you adorable ladies are capable of defeating her. That's no problemo. We've blasted her alter egos a bunch of times before. Remember, R for herself is still a complete goddess. It would be best if we could gather all four goddesses to our side. We don't got time for that. Monsters are all roar and attacking people. We know where she is, so let me go get her. I know how you feel, but don't be so rash. I'm sure Isti needs time to prepare our trip to Celestia anyway. She's right. Haste makes waste. My grandpa's words ring true again. We should be cautious and rationable. Neptune, please listen to your friends. We still need a little time. Pshaw! Is that the end of the cutscenes? No, it's not. Of course not. We still need a lead. Neptune! Pisty, you seem tense. I have been trying to decide whether or not to tell you this because you seem to love how you are now so much. Um, should we give you two some privacy? No, please stay. I think the two of you should be aware of this as well. Does it have to do with Nep Nep's past? That's right. There's nothing Isty can't tell us. Yes, there is something she has forgotten, which is very, very important. Oh, what Neptune, is it? What is it? You are, in actuality, the CPU of Planetune. And everyone's just shut. I apologize. Shut. I know it is hard to process and you are speechless, but it is the truth. Do you believe me? I don't think anyone would. I do. I kind of had an idea. This is just the confirmation. What about you, Kampa? Oh yeah, of course I have, of course. Wha what? Nap Nap is a goddess? Of what? Norse? Greek? Food? Babylonian? Thanks for the expected reaction. Nep, are you feeling like Kampa? No, but like, more of a, like, are you sure I deserve this? How is this happening? Nep Nep just fell! From... From the sky! Are you putting it together? Surviving a fall from the sky and stabbing headfirst into the ground. She's not normal. Each land was making a big deal over their goddess descending, except for Planetoon. Let's not forget also the transformation. I didn't want to believe myself for thinking it, but I suppose I was right this entire time. Yes, I do not know how she fell to the world beneath, but you could hear my voice only because you are a goddess. It's also point out that, of course, it was completely obvious for a viewer's standpoint. Are you sure it's okay for me to be a goddess? Whether it is fine or not, you were born a goddess. Please, accept your destiny. I don't remember being a goddess at all. This is going to be a problem for the folks on Planet Tune. Do not worry. Even if you did nothing, your protective powers work on their own. It seems the power weakened a little due to your lack of awareness. But now that you remember, all should be well. Yay. And of course we're back here. Is that it? Oh no, 
Okay, so we got the path to Celestia. Is that done? According to Histoire, R4 is in Celestia, where only goddesses may reside. To find a way for Compa and I have to go to, Histoire suggests, Histoire suggests a unique plan. Okay. How do we get to Celestia? Especially Ify and Compa. They're human. Do you have a way? Wait a second, where are, where are we? We seem to be like back in a cave. Yes, please follow me, and I will explain everything there. Okay, what is it? Oh, what's this? Holding out on me? Or was this a funky loophole discovered during the script writing process? It's probably a loophole because it's just kind of game. Stop speculating and come with me. What do you mean by a loophole during the script writing process? All is well. She just wanted to tune that they can go to um, Celestia and. There you go. So what do we have? A shuttle? Some teleportation device? I didn't think places like this still existed on Planet Toon. Okay, another trophy. This is a ruin, built by those who lived long, long before you girls were born. There is a record here, detailing weapons carried by some ancient heroes. Weapons? Heroes? Sounds super interesting, but that's not important now. We gotta get to Celestia, stat! Hmm, I get the feeling I could actually already recruit the goddesses, which means this is pretty much endgame. Am I correct in thinking that? That is what we are here to discuss. A goddess once told me a story which took place right before I was born. Oh, what's this? Oh, uh, what's the story? Long ago. The goddess at the time awakened to her ambitions and desired to take over the world. I can't believe a goddess would want to do such a thing. Because they already have part of the road. Or part of the land. Even goddesses will sometimes choose the wrong path. It is only natural for one with a heart and emotions. The goddess was eventually stopped by some brave heroes from the human world. These heroes took a road reaching up to Celestia from here. Humans. Humans now. Humans stopped the goddess. Interesting. Interesting. Defeated, the goddess admitted to the error of her ways and promised to never let it happen again. She separated part of her powers away from herself so she could never again misuse them. Is this how you were created, Istra? I see. The tome, Istwar, is that piece of power separated from the goddess. Yes. Since then, a goddess cannot make a change in the human world without my consent. That means we can all take the road those heroes did to get to Celestia. Maybe it's like a rainbow or something. It is not that simple, actually. The heroes have locked the entrance to the path. I suppose that sort of makes sense. I mean, we can't just have anyone go to Celestia. Why would they do that? It'd be so wonderful if we could drop in and talk with the goddesses whenever we wanted. The world is not full of good, righteous humans. The heroes probably believed free access to Celestia would spell trouble. See, I was thinking on the white lines there. Accordingly, the heroes used their own weapons as keys to lock the path. Oh god no, we gotta we gotta find these, don't we? We gotta find the weapons. Okay, so things are coming together. We need to fetch the hero's weapons to unlock the way to Celestia. Oh, I thought you were gonna say we needed the weapons to fight R4. One problem. Since a long period of time has passed, the weapons have been lost, even to the annals of history. These weapons were given the name of Quartet Arms. We must collect all four to reopen the way to Celestia. I've heard this before. Only these were called Fragment Keys. Is this gonna be the exact same story? I hope not. But you could figure that out instantly, right? You are the world and all that. Well, I would need three days. So? Instead of wandering around like a buffoon, I'll wait three days to get exact coordinates. I will need three days for each weapon. So, a total of 12 days, if we're lucky. 
It could take up to a month per weapon if things get complicated. On foot it is. One weapon per land, right? Is that all we have to go on? Lanatune's weapon is within a cave. Blastation's weapon is buried in a field. Leanbox's weapon sleeps in a ruin. Louise's weapon is protected by a snowy forest. That is all I know for now. We'll head out to look for the weapons then. Let us know when you learn more. You can tune into Nep's Thick Skull, right? Understood. Good luck. I will wait here on Kampa's fluffy, bouncy bed. Oh, how wonderful. Oh yeah, I'm actually curious. Can I get the goddesses now? Because that info's um, where is it? Those shares at the top right. Like for example, if I want the goddess for lean box, I'm gonna need to fill that shit up a lot, and that's just basically doing the side quests over and over and over again. Same for La Station and Louis. And that also basically the higher the share, the stronger that goddess is. So at the moment, plan. Neptune's goddess, which is Neptune, would be the strongest. Which explains why her stats always increase when you, uh, Plampitude's chair goes up. Or why they go down. I may actually stop here and actually just look up to see if I ca can do that now. Because it's going to take forever to actually level up her share. And if I can do that, then I'll probably just go and do that. But first, let's see if I got anything. Okay, I got some farm last station. The group wonders around the way so you can run with the weapons on the one inside string and in the dungeon. Okay, so we can do something with last stations for it. And then there's two things here. Yep. How long have I been recording for? Uh, about 50 ish minutes, just under probably. Yeah, I'm gonna end it here, I see. So let me save. When we come back, I will, s I will let you all know if I can get the goddesses. If not, then I'll just carry on. If I can, then I'll probably get one of them. Because I only need one to get the true ending. I may think about getting one of the others as well, just uh, so I can have three people transforming. And then I can actually use the, like, you know, the back system of using swap, or switch, should I say. But yeah, with all that said, I'm going to end this here. When we come back, more Hyper Dimension Neptunia. Hope you all enjoy this, and I'll see you next time.